Okay, this is a very short little video where I'm going to just mention two ways to get large red arrows as pointers on your documents. So let me open a Windows do journal document. Okay. And uh, let me do some writing. Here is some writing. And I would like to point to this. Okay, so suppose I want to. Ah, well, okay, I'll save that. And uh, now, suppose I want to point at that with an ordinary. If I use the ordinary hand tool, as you can see, well, it's not too bad on the recording, but it really comes out very small in front of the students. So with the students, it's, I'm probably better off going and standing up next to the screen and using some proper pointer or a laser pointer or something like that. Now, one of my colleagues found this software called Enorm Mouse, which gives you an enormous mouse, which is all very well. A couple of disadvantages. Um, you don't have any control over exactly where the point is, and the point comes underneath the hand, and it looks a bit silly. So uh, I don't particularly like the pointer coming underneath the hand. I, therefore, I'm going to turn that off. Oh, the other thing is, uh, you, depending on your resolution, uh, sometimes I end up in a lower resolution for some reason, and then this really ends up much too large. It's not too bad at this resolution here, though it's still pretty large. Let me turn it off. Turning it on and off is also a bit of a nuisance. And then we have Kenrick's uh, nice software on um, cursor retention. So let's run. Oh, cursor retention is already running. Here we go. OK, so I can tell it to show a pencil. And in showing pencil, there is a standard pencil that you can show, but you can also set up your own custom, uh, custom pen to be shown. Uh, just, you just call it custom pen, it's a PNG file, and it picks that up if you put it in the right folder. And there it is. I set one up with a little bit of transparency at the top left, which is where the hand's going to appear. So now, I can point at that. And even better, I asked I ask Kenrick whether he could maybe produce a toggle, and this one toggles on or off with Control F9. So I shall, and I've assigned that to one of my tablet buttons. So one of my tablet buttons does control F9 and I can toggle it off and on again. This is very good. So now I want to point it there, and there you are. Or I can point it here. And then if I'm writing, I can still use it to point, and that's quite useful because uh, the, the dot for the writing is, of course, as Kendrick points out, Kendrick Mock points out it's very small, but I can point at that dot. I've set up my uh, as I say, my little bit of transparency at the top left means that it points towards the dot rather than having the dot at the very point of the arrow. So I can write with the arrow pointing at the text, if you want to. OK, I think that'll do for now. Let's stop that recording.